Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Pandya Empire. In the last episode we converted to Buddhism because that seems like a good idea for some reason. And we should also, I guess, ask our heir to convert so that it's not just a single character thing. He should... we won't actually do it. Maybe he'll do it after we give him a gift. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we'll have at least a couple of Buddhist characters just to see what that's like. Um, one other thing, I had a request to maybe go and look and see what's happening in Europe a bit more often, and it has indeed been a while since we did that, so let's head over there and have a look. Um, Abyssinia down here, obviously this is not in Europe, but just the rest of the map uh, is looking pretty strong over here. Though he is incapable, and they're monophysite, interestingly. Okay. Byzantium looking relatively strong. Croatia, too. Looking pretty good. And Bohemia in the in Central Europe here. Ruthenia and Rus sort of fighting it out, it looks like. Uh, this whole area, West Francia, I think was extremely fractured the last time we looked over here, but it seems to be a little more cohesive now. Still got a Carling in charge, though an infirm one. He has, uh, yeah, Aquitaine, Middle Francia. I guess he's just inherited all of them. Okay. In Britain, Pictland is still sort of the major power there, I guess. They haven't really expanded much, I think, since we last looked. And of course, the Umayyads still with their hold on Iberia. And the Mali Empire looking pretty good as well. Uh, let's just check out the religion map mode in case there's anything crazy going on there. Nothing too interesting. Obviously the Umayyads are converting all of the remaining Catholic provinces. There's a Cathar province in Brittany there. And up here. And some Orthodox counties up here in Sweden. But nothing too out of the ordinary it looks like. We still have Zunist on the map which is nice to see. I guess it helps their cause that the Abbasids collapsed relatively early on. I'm not sure when exactly, but it was pretty early. I haven't been keeping too close an eye on it. Anyway, let's get back to our own business. Uh, one other thing that occurred to me is that we haven't yet used our subjugation CB with this character, so we should be able to do that, and we'll probably just use that against Rastrakuta. I was pre previously looking for duchy claimants and that kind of thing, but if we can just do a subjugation war, that would obviously be a lot easier. We can do subjugation of Maharashtra, so we'll probably do that next. I'm not sure I want to do it right now because we still have some vassal problems, and this would give us a lot more vassals, which and vassals that aren't particularly happy with me. So it would just worsen things. Yeah, this only works against characters of the same culture group, so I'm not sure how much more often we'll be able to do this. Let's check out the culture map mode. So we are the Dravidian culture group, as are most of the other lands we've conquered so far. Uh, actually, it seems that this kingdom is mostly in the Indo-Aryan culture group. So maybe it just is this character that is Dravidian, yeah. But yeah, it looks like everywhere else is Indo-Aryan, so we won't be able to probably use the Subjugation CB anymore once we have Maharashtra. Okay, well that's fine. Um, about our vassals, we do have, of course, lots of factions, nothing particularly powerful, but if we could do something about these that would be great. Why are you even so annoyed? Well, he's a title claimant to the Kingdom of Karnata. He doesn't like high crown authority. Do we have high crown authority? I don't think we do. We're on medium. Oh, it must be Karnata that's on high. We didn't do that. It was like that when we got here. Let's lower that to medium. That will actually help out a little bit. Okay. And let's unpause here, so that that boat can actually go through. Okay, so that's our sun converting. 
five minutes into the episode and we unpause for the first time. I don't know why this wouldn't pass. There we go, okay. So we'll see how that affects our factions and that kind of thing. Hasn't really helped out that much. I think he just got the minus 20 from high crown authority went to minus 10. We don't get any extra bonus for lower and crown authority. Seems unfair, because you get an opinion penalty for raising it. Should get a bonus for lowering it. But that's fine. I suppose all these guys have been bribed recently. No, they haven't, actually. Let's just give them gifts, and if they're going to be happier for a while, we can probably go ahead and declare our subjugation war. 117. That is pretty steep, but we'll do it. If this guy would just get out of his faction, and he did, okay. And we just had another faction immediately. You, I think, are not in Karnata, so... Oh, he is in Karnata, or at least he desires the kingdom. Uh, you're here. Is that really? Oh, so it is. Though it is being incorporated into the kingdom of Tamilakam. That won't be for a while, though. Um, It really might be in our best interest to just give away that kingdom. I really don't want to, though. We'll send him a gift, too. This is our biggest faction now. That didn't get him out of it. Oh, it did. Okay, good. Okay, my wife is pregnant. He didn't get out of his faction. We've named him our Seneschal and Court Dwarf, but he still doesn't like us. What a jerk. Yeah, mostly because he's ambitious. Um, I think we'll move our Chancellor to work on him, since he is the most powerful guy who's still in factions, I think. Okay. And I think with that amount of vassal management done, we're probably safe enough to go to war. Uh, you were approached by my courtier who is trying to convert you back to Hinduism. Engage him in theological debate. Not sure if this converts him to my religion or what. We'll see. It does. Good. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and, and declare war then. Subjugation of Maharashtra. I think this will end up in us getting this other county over here, which got into his realm via some kind of inheritance shenanigans recently. This costs us 500 karma, but we have 900, so we can afford that. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to declare the war, of course. And we'll just use all of our troops. Obviously not going to happen, or not going to help with our vassal opinions, but hopefully we can get this over with quickly. Let's see. A couple of you rendezvous over here. Didn't raise any troops in the Maldives because the holder of the Maldives also has a second county, which is something we could also do something about at some point. It's not really urgent, though. We can be on speed four. And he's called in Sindh. Okay. Which is possibly worrying. Yep, everyone's gonna be annoyed. Looks like he has only about four and a half thousand or less, so I think what we'll do is take this many troops. 
actually this seven and a half thousand should be plenty to take care of this initial battle and you can head here and just start sieging. Let's get our best characters in charge. Yeah, I suppose we can put ourselves in. Why did you go in there? You do it instead. Okay, uh, this character, or sorry, this county is jungle. Which shouldn't be too big a problem. Though I would prefer to avoid a river crossing if we could. No river crossing with Naldurg, so we'll try and go in from here, though. They might be able to get out in time. Okay, we had a granddaughter. Okay, after years of careful planning, Govinda Pratihara from the court of somebody somewhere has raised a large army of exiles and is off to attack the Maharaja of Pratihara Kingdom. Okay, good luck with that. Is that the guy who was called into the war against us? He is a Pratihara. I really don't like the whole practice of having our empires and kingdoms named after our dynasties. Just makes things confusing. Yeah, we'll head up here and start doing some more sieges. That battle turned out just fine. And we didn't die in combat, so that's also good. We are subject to a hostile siege somewhere. Should probably do something about that. After we take care of this army. And we had a daughter. A strong daughter. And another daughter who became of legal age. I suppose we could get her married for an alliance of some kind, but we probably don't need to. I suppose there's no reason not to. Uh, he's only four. Prince of Tamilakam. Oh, that's a relative, actually. That doesn't matter. Oh, it's fine. We'll just leave her alone and marry her off to somebody if we get an offer. I don't think we're really in need of allies at the moment. As the enemy scurries away from the battlefield like frightened rabbits, you wipe the sweat off your brow and watch in silence. It was a hard-fought melee and you were in the thick of it, personally leading your men to victory. Not only have you won this battle, but also a great deal of respect. So we gain 100 prestige, which actually does help out with our vassal opinion. So that's good. Oh dear. Uh, we had previously been ill but it seems to have developed into pneumonia. This cough is killing me. It started as chest pain and shortness of breath. Then I started coughing up phlegm and now blood. So we go from, what is this, minus two health to minus four, I think. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I would not be surprised if we died soon, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, and then we became infirm. So we're definitely going to die. This is a total of minus five health. Which we... Yeah, we don't have anything counteracting that really, apart from 0.5 from Brilliant Strategist. Well, we'll obviously continue this war until we die, which, yep, almost immediately. <laughs> so, uh, we are... Marapanmar II of Pandya Empire. We're 18 years old, so we should have a good long reign ahead of us. We're not a great character, unfortunately. Our heir is our half-brother, um, who was the previous heir, of course, until we switched it, since we can do that with our fancy religion. We would rather not have him inherit, though, since he's pretty bad. And... It's therefore good that our wife is pregnant. So, let's see. 
we probably have unhappy vassals. Oh dear, they're pretty unhappy. Um, I think we are probably going to have to start giving away kingdoms. Uh, let's see what we can do about it in the meantime, though. We should choose an ambition. We can, because we are Buddhists, take the ambition to learn temperance with food, which would be good. Not, mm, gluttony is not really a good trait. I think we'll... Uh, let's actually take that first. We don't really need to take one of these. It would give us only a little karma. And for a focus... I suppose carousing is probably going to help us out the most with our vassals, so we'll take that. I'm not sure stewardship or rulership might help us as well. Indirectly by increasing opinions from the events you get, but the plus three diplomacy will also be helpful, so we'll just do this one. Uh, let's see then. Yeah, we don't really have the money to bribe everybody. I think we'll have to at least give away the Kingdom of Karnata, and that at least, at least means that we'll have one extremely powerful vassal who'll be very happy with us. Let's actually wait before we do that and see what happens with our factions, just in case we maybe don't have to for some reason. Okay, there's one faction. Uh, we already have our Chancellor no, no, it's not his county, it's the other one with the similar symbol. We'll move it to his, I suppose. Actually, you probably shouldn't have done that unless we are going to give him the kingdom title. Okay, we had a call to arms. I think I'm going to decline this one. We don't need any more distractions right now. And we don't lose prestige for it. Okay, we're up to 42% from battles. Fortunately, our vassal opinion penalty from having our levies raised has reset since we're a new character. Yeah, quite a few more factions. Again, nothing extremely strong. They're still... well, this one's 46%, so we need to do something about one of them. This one is the one we should target. This guy is also in at least one other faction, and he's a count, so he should be relatively cheap to bribe, if he's not already bribed. Uh, we apparently already have given him an honorary title. Uh, not much we can do about him. Apart from that, I don't think that'll get him out of his factions. To 45%. We have attacked into jungle again, but we have enough of a numbers advantage that it should be just fine. And we'll follow and then head down to Siege's capital. Factions, Daman. Yeah, you are in one other faction as well. We will try bribing him too. We do have an honorary title available to give him. Might be better used on a duke, but that's fine. Alright, we have another faction, Lower Crown Authority. Not yet worryingly large. Still nothing bigger than the Independence faction. 
which is still at less than 50%, so not in immediate danger of firing. And we had a son, who is our new heir. Alright. Probably only a couple more sieges will win this war for us. Oof, this guy's at minus 90. There's, there's no way we're going to get his opinion improved. So, I think probably the best way to mitigate this faction issue is to just give away our kingdom. But actually, we're out of time for this episode, so we'll have to do that next time and also finish this war. So thanks for watching, and join me again then.